We're the football fans of this city recently ponying up $250 million in stadium improvements at Arrowhead, and now we learn the Chiefs are giving up one of their home games next season. Many of you are not too happy about this, and I'm not either, and I don't blame you. The Chiefs are going to cross the big pond on November 1 next year to play the Detroit Lions at Wembley Stadium in London. The problem here, folks, is the home game that they're giving up. There is no way they can justify that. Something doesn't smell right in this whole process. Look, the NFL has been going abroad for the last six years, but it's usually seemed to involve teams with stadium issues or problems selling tickets back at home. That has not been the problem at Arrowhead for two and a half decades. They're sold out every game, at least that's what they tell us. Why would anybody want to give up a home game in the NFL? This will make two in a row over there for the Lions, both times as visiting teams. The president of the Lions said today after the announcement was made, there was no way that he would give up a home game. What's going on here anyhow? Wins are very precious in this league, and playing against Megatron and his buddies in London will be a heck of a lot more difficult than getting them at Arrowhead. And you throw in the fact now that this game will air at 8.30 in the morning our time. So does that mean the tailgate party begins at 5 a.m.? Look, Clark Hunt has been chairman of the International Committee since 2011. So folks, the decision clearly has the Chiefs' blessing. Game day experience at Arrowhead is one of the true treasures of the NFL. A poll on the website Arrowhead Pride this afternoon found that 83, 83 percent of the respondents disapprove of the Chiefs giving up a home game. Now, if Hunt wants to help the NFL, fine, but go over there as a visiting team. You cannot justify taking a game away from the fans. It's a punch in the gut to every barbecue-eating tailgater who has stuck behind this team for over 50 years. This is a bad deal for the Chiefs. Shame on you, Chiefs. That's Jack Smack.